What's up, Summoners? King Blair here. Today for Top 5 Tuesday, we're going to be talking about my top 5 favorite design heroes from the way that they are is, to their voice lines, to their S3s, and even a little bit gameplay aspect. Because honestly, the designs of the heroes in Epic 7 is the reason why I always keep coming back to this game. Whether I take a break or not, it just always, there's no other game like Epic 7 when it comes to character design. And that's honestly my favorite part. So... Without further ado, let's get right into it. If you agree with the video, or you know, since it's very opinionated based video, because I mean, my favorite top five are definitely not gonna be the same ones as yours, uh, but I'll definitely try to defend mine. Uh, let me know in the comments which ones are your top five, and it'll be cool. Uh, I look forward to seeing the comments and what y'all think and why. Uh, but with that, let's get right into it. And of course, as always, like, sub, all that good stuff. And also comment down below, yours. Because I, I love that part. But we're gonna start with the honorable mentions because honestly, I had a lot of trouble actually filtering down this video to top five because there's a lot of heroes that I loved and I have loved for a long time. It's just, it happens that their gameplay aspect are not as fun as they used to be. But one of the honorable mentions, if you've been someone that's been around in the channel for a long time, you know, I gotta put my boy K-Ron uh, in here. He's just built different. You know, his design is actually really, really one of my favorites. It, he is a little outdated, right? You can kind of tell with the S3 animation, although, it, you know, it's not bad, right? It's still really cool, but his voice lines just carry him. Honestly, when he's just like, man, like a roaming heart forever wandering, and you just, oh, man, you just really do feel like that bad guy energy. He just does a really good job about doing that. He's always been one of my favorites. I really hope they buff him because I also like to play him more, but his gear requirements are insane, and for the gear requirements, for what you get value out of him, a little bit hard. The other one is going to be uh, Specimen Says. The reason I like him is honestly because more because Says used to be my first character. And when his ML version came out, I just thought it was really cool because ML, it's basically just ML Says. I know it's kind of a weird reason, but that's why he's an honorable mention. I just really like uh, how much sass he's got and like he's a light version of Says and like the storyline with him being. Uh, someone that was created in a lab and he's trying to seek and kill Cess. I really want to see more of the storyline. I haven't finished the Dagger Sakaar missions. I know he pops up a little bit more there. I really need to get to those missions because, man, they're pretty spicy. But again, one of my more favorite, like, heroes. Gameplay-wise, also really cool. Really unique gameplay-wise. Honestly, almost made it into the list because I actually really like this stun idea. If it was a little bit more viable, oh, man, I'd be all over it. Although I did get Solitaria recently. I did get it from my custom. And I do know that they go pretty well together. So maybe I will be playing some Spes for fun in the near future. Uh, the other one, is of course going to be a Meru. Uh, I I don't know why I like her so much. I think that it's the, the animations and the fact that she's like the big villain. I know a lot of people don't like her voice. Uh, I know that's actually a thing that a lot of people dislike the voice, but I've used a Meru so much recently and I always tend to bring her with me that I, it's starting to grow me a little bit. It's, start, it's starting to grow just a little bit. And I love the gameplay, right? The, the, when you proc the S2s, it's like it's like a rush. Uh, the only thing is she doesn't have that Elris passive, which for a good reason, right? Because if you had that Elris passive, she'd be broken. Uh, but you'll see someone else is on the list that actually made it. But she's basically right there. She's only going to be my number six uh, because I just really like her gameplay and I really, really like using her. She's just a really fun unit to use. But that is going to take us to the actual list where I'm going to talk a little bit more about them. And at number five, we got none other than Celine. So the reason why I like Celine so much, it's one, the story and the character itself, but also just the S3 is still one of my favorites in the game as far as animations. Just animations all around. And I also really like her lore. Uh, I just really like the way she's designed, even like with the idle animations, right? This this is always, I always point out, but you can tell she's like, she's like, you see the yawn? Oh, they gave her so much, like, I don't know, like, and like, I don't, know to, I don't know how to say this. Just give her such like alpha energy. You know, she's she's a badass in the storyline. She's a badass. She forgets everyone. I'll, Karen used to be one of my favorite ones as well. So when I found out it was Karen's aunt, I was just like, man, dude, she she looks sick, right? And that's three animation by far one of my favorites, especially when she goes like step back. If you value your life, honestly, I listen to this game way too much. I know this quote's way too much by heart, but yeah, just the way that she does like takes out the sword, you know, she's getting serious because. On the other skills, she's just bonking you, right? And she's doing dummy damage, and then she, you can tell she's getting serious. And the sound animation to the whoosh, Oh, man, it just makes me feel so good every time she has threes. It makes me feel like I'm clapping the opponent, and, like, that last part with the lat dashes. Oh, man, I love it. And as far as gameplay-wise, I really do like the punish aspect that she has. After the buffs, before she wasn't on my list of top favorites, but after they gave her the buff to the... The, to her so she can actually be used more. The gameplay is really fun, right? I actually try to take her a lot in Guild Wars now, especially against like 
conquer Lilius whenever they have a lot of water units. I really have to get her better gear. She's very hard to gear though, and that also makes me like happy because it's like a unit that you can invest in and you get investment back, right? It's pretty cool. It's fun. Not everyone can build her, but she 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 just gives some intense energies. But that's going to take me to number four, and I know some of you are gonna hate me that this character is on here, but this character has become one of my favorites and even though she's a new character and it's not other than Belion oh man there's just something about Belion that I take her all PvE with me she's decent at PvE but I just like to take her because I love seeing her animations her gameplay is so exciting her design is super sick she's another villain I don't know why I like all the villains I, I think I think I just have something a, a, a soft spot for the villain characters maybe I'm just an edgy boy but just everything that she does is really really cool I love the chair like the gamer chair memes are amazing but as far as the sign, I just really like how cool, like, the beam looks. Like, it really does look like a final villain, right? Especially this animation where she, all oh, the mechanics of it. And then of the S3, I mean, come on. This is one of the cleanest S3s in the game. It all looks pretty and everything. And then the final cut over, like, whoosh, oh, man. that That's really what gets me. I think that's honestly my favorite, one of my favorite animations in the game. Just because it, you feel so powerful using it. And as far as gameplay, you guys know, I, I love RNG. There's something about just getting a proc off and seeing her s1 and just melt the opponent that you know it's a rush it sucks to be the one on the receiving end but it feels so good to be the one getting the procs and all that good stuff it's just i don't know i really like her i know i shouldn't like her as much but i really really do like her uh and of course the voice quotes are not as good as some of the other ones but still a really 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 good uh character now that is going to bring us to our number three and we have none other than operator sigrid to me she still has the best s3 in the game i think Sangelica would be pretty up there as well um but operator sigrid really does have the absolute best s3 in the game uh it's as far as animation goes it's just crazy i've always liked sigrid uh with the glasses and like the push-up and operator sigrid really lived up to expectations right like the, that mechanic uh cyborg looking aspect of it uh Oh, man, just like the, the Android factor, like the S2 feels so satisfying to actually land. As far as gameplay, it's also the same thing. I actually really do like her. The only reason I don't use her more is because my speed gear is very strained right now, even though I know she's really good right now. If I had good speed gear, like if I was a Wyvern chaser my whole life, or if I actually used the 800 leaves that are stocking up on my storage, I would actually use her all the time because she's actually pretty good now because of Hua. Uh, mainly just because of Hua, because you can just pop Hua with an S2. Uh, just have to be faster than her, so it requires you to be like 260. But you just pop Hua, you, you do that real quick. Also, I have no clue why that thing just popped up right there. That is really weird. But we'll go back to it. But yeah, just, oh man, she just pops off way too hard. Like, the, and let's, just, let's just admire this S3. This character is just on this list because of this S3. Like, the sound animation just when she goes... Whoosh, Oh, the drone strikes too, dude. It just looks so clean. This is it's still my favorite S3 in the game, right? It's just as far as like animation goes, I just don't think there's one that's better. I can't think of a character's S3 that gets me more hyped up than uh, Operator Secrets. It just looks so clean. Like they put so much love into this S3. The sound animations, the drones, that view, and it just fits her character so well. Uh, that I don't know. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. And I really do want more of her story, right? So I'm hoping with that Moonlight Theory, they actually will expand on her story. But now that is going to take us to the number two. There's another one that's kind of a meta unit, but she's still kind of one of my favorite ones. And I, gameplay wise and design wise, and it's none other than conquer Lilius, if i can find her and i know some of you guys some of these units you know like belay and it's like one of those bittersweet units that you're like yeah you know you hate her because you see her all the time and this unit is literally everywhere but yeah it's made the design's pretty sick and the gameplay wise too if you've ever used conquer Lilius, you know how good it feels to play conquer Lilius, right she's just a unit that from gameplay perspective, the signed perspective, and just everything she stands for is really cool. I uh, even know she's the Moonlight version, right? She's in the world where like Rylet and her team up, uh, which they should hopefully expand more in the Moonlight Theater that's coming out soon, uh, the storyline. But they kind of teamed up and you know, she's pretty much taking over Sidonia, right? She's, she's taking over, she has Rylet's help. She's just destroying everything. She's becoming like this conqueror. And they really capture that so well, both in her design her quotes like the the way she carries herself Lilith has always carried herself you know like she looks so strong and independent it's just like dude she looks so sick and then the s3 when she just like start it's kind of like a weird one because like she leaves the battlefield 
And it's like, hey, yo, why are you leaving the battlefield? Uh, but when she comes back, it's just, it's just really sick. Oh, man, when she strikes a sword and everyone cheers. It's just really cool, right? And you guys know Lilia is still one of my favorite S2 animations. Just not her ammo version, just her regular version. Uh, but Conquer Lilia is just... I cut about the rest as far as design goes. Definitely more, like, newer, right? Which is one of the reasons she looks so clean compared to regular Lilia's. Even though the regular Lilia's, the sound... The sound... The way they made the sound for the S3 was really great. This one is too, right? It's a weird transition, but outside the transition, it just it looks so cool when she actually does the S3. And again, gameplay is a part of why I like the character's design so much. And I just think she opens up so many different team compositions that normally wouldn't work without her, right? Like having Vigor buff, no other hero really does that. Having a speed initiator to be able to set up Ida, it's it's just she does so much, right? And that's one of the reasons she's so broken, right? She gets vigor, she provokes, she dual attacks, she does everything, but it also does let you do some pretty crazy combos because it lets you pivot from aggro to cleave to bruiser, right? You can play any playstyle if you have Lilies on your team, and you can basically do whatever you want, right? She put, uh, in Guild Wars defense. I don't even know how many variations I've seen of Conquer Lilies uh, and how many different builds I've seen. Which is a very, very versatile unit, which is what makes it really fun, right? And also the design is sick. Great to use, feels terrible to go against. And then, of course, at the number one, we have probably my favorite hero, which kind of grew on me after I finally ended up getting all his imprints and started committing into him. We have Rylet. Even to this day, even though Solitaria is still really strong and there's a lot of different counters to him, he still remains my favorite hero because of his design and still his gameplay, right? You guys know I love my RNG. I've said that before. I love my RNG a little bit, but there's something about him that just makes him feel so clean. Like the outfit, drippy. The 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 animations, insanely good. The playstyle, incredibly fun, although also incredibly frustrating, right? Because we all know when Ryla dodges, you have a good day. When Ryla does not dodge, you have a bad day. I still use him occasionally in Guild Wars. And in RTA, I, I actually did start using him a lot more in the end season. Granted, I didn't try as hard this period season because um, I've been busy and I just didn't feel like climbing. Uh, but again, he's a really cool character, right? And I definitely feel like I've, I've gotten more washed. But outside of all that stuff, I really, really do like this guy's design and his gameplay. It's just very, very fun to use. And then the S3 and the quotes, like, your life means nothing. Boom. And he does the S3. Oh, man. Like that flower and then at the end, that, that little aspect to detail where he, he goes back in for a little bit, two more dashes. Like, you see how many times he slashes. You can see all the different poses around. I've, I've seen this S3 a little bit too many times. And every time, every single time, it feels good. And again... Build-wise, it's really fun to play Rylet because you have to build around him. You have to decide what build you want to go with him. You have to decide the type of team you want to play. If you want to play him with Closer Charles, you want to play him super fast so he can open for Closer Charles or follow up after Closer Charles. If you want to play him Lifesteal to be able to solo teams if you get lucky, right? That's my current build right now is actually the Lifesteal build because that's just how the meta is progressed for me. And I feel like that's his better build right now. But again, speed's still really, really good. Life's just really, really good. You can kind of build around him. There's so many different teams you can do with him with Fallen Cecilia, protect the Rylic comp. You can do Closer Charles, as I mentioned. You can just do standard Conqueror Lilia's aggro, right? Because she gets some vigor. He's self-attack buffs. You just get dummy damage on S3. He's just a really good uh, single target DPS. Of course, he has a lot of counters now. Hua, Rimuru, Solitaria. I can go on and on about the, all the characters that counter him, along with just getting unlucky and getting hit. But overall, he's going to be my favorite character, favorite design in this game. He just looks insanely cool, plays insanely fun, and it's just my favorite, my favorite unit, which is why I'm triple SS, right? I know same thing with Valiant, but man, I really just like this character. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you'll enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing what y'all's top five is. That's all I got, and I will see you next time. Peace.